guys, welcome to another episode of Keto Date Night. My name's Autumn and this is my husband Richard. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we started this series because when we were dating, we used to really, really enjoy going out to restaurants yes. and having yes. date nights. But with all the craziness that occurred, you know, that's been occurring this year, mm -hmm. uh, we haven't been able to go to restaurants, so we decided to bring date night to us, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, this has just been a good chance for my husband to experiment and make some awesome keto recipes, uh, and mm -hmm. then we just pick a subject each night and, and talk about all things Autumn and Richard. Oh, I love that. Uh, me oh, too. Right. That's so true. So, so true. the first thing we're going to talk about is this delicious meal that he <laughs> made for us this week. Richard, what do you have for us this week? Okay, on the menu tonight, guys, let's lead in with the crab cake. Can you see the... There he goes. We have the crab cake, and it's covered in a chipotle aioli. Yes! And aside, aside the crab cakes, we also have bacon and parmesan crusted asparagus. Mm-hmm. Mm, oh, yeah, that, that took a lot of work, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then besides that, the usual grilled onions, which if you know my wife, you know she's Peppers absolute. and onions are a date night staple. <laughs> there peppers is no and, other yes, choice. Literally, like, she's built for the fair. Like, if she has a peppers and onions booth, exactly. just give her a bowl of that. You're right. Get out of the way. <laughs> No, but peppers and onions, and then the final thing actually was of your doing. Yeah, so I actually made the Good D's Cracker Biscuits, and we, you know, since we were having seafood, I tried to get my Cheddar Bay Biscuit uh, on, I was right? Gonna say, she put so, a little wark twist to yeah, it. Yeah, so I put some cheddar cheese and jalapeno, and then some garlic powder and onion powder, and I am excited for you all of this. You and me both. Okay. <laughs> okay, but enough talking, more eating. I was eating. just going to say. Do you see... You oh see my this? gosh. Do you see this? Consider me seen it. Going, <laughs> going, in the, going in the train station. Oh. All right. Mm. What is that? How, did, how is it? What's going on? It tastes like a professional made up. Yes, they're <laughs> crabbing at a restaurant. You are so talented. Yeah. Oh my God. You're so beautiful. Sweetheart, and it's so spicy because. A, he put jalapeno in it, but then B, instead of using regular pork rinds, we use hot and spicy mm. pork rinds, and oh, that wow. pays off. You're right. And plus, we have some more of that spicy chipotle aioli on top, like... Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I mean, you better have amazed yourself right now, because... What like, did I do? Mm. I, done, I done messed around and done it. Mm. Wow, I have to say. I don't even know... <laughs> When it's in the bowl, you don't really see it. You're like, the recipe says this, so I'll go Wow, with it. sweetheart, this is amazing. Like, every single piece of it uh -huh. is, like, so moist and flavorful and savory and mm. spicy. I'm using my Food Network one. I know, right? Asparagus. Wow. So this is asparagus with Parmesan cheese, lots of butter. I yes. saw you put that butter yes. in there. And bacon bit. Yes. A bacon... Parmesan crusted mm. asparagus. Look, that's candy. I mean, it is so good. There is nothing to improve here, sweetheart. <laughs> there is just nothing to improve. Okay, babe, let's try out these biscuits. Now that's yeah, no, what I'm excited about. Yeah. Now with the baking. Exactly. The bacon portion here. is exactly over here. Okay. I see you top them with a nice. Pat of butter. Of course, I'm, I'm you gotta go carry gold all day, every day. Okay, so I love how when they came out of the oven, they were a little like you know, you could press them mm -hmm. and they were a little mushy, but now I feel like once they've cooled, oh, yeah, they can feel which the, the, you can feel the bounce. Yeah, which the instructions explicitly tell you to do. It says let them cool completely mm -hmm. or they'll fall apart. So that's what it said. No, okay, so let's go ahead. It's more like a warning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, Look you the also, inside. these are just normal cracker biscuits that you added cheddar cheese and yes. jalapenos to. Yeah. Wow, that looks great. Okay. Mm, okay, going in for a bite. Me mm too. -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am down for this. I thought the asparagus was candy. No, this is candy. This is really good. I love the texture. Mm. It still is kind of chewy, but in a really good Very way. Good. The cheese and the jalapenos. Those are two things that literally set the entire biscuit off. <laughs> oh my God, We're not like, talking about nothing tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. It was good talking to everybody. Mm. We're done. 
My gosh, baby. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is my favorite date night. Dinner aside. The subject for tonight's date night is a question that we get all the time. Ever since we got married. The next question is, so when are you two having a baby? <laughs> so the subject is. Yeah, that happened to you? Oh, yeah, exactly. So the, the question is, when are we having kids? And I'll just go ahead and break the answer to everyone. Never. Tomorrow. No. <laughs> Never. Like we are, we have decided not to have children. Like, and we we're sticking to that. We just we just don't want to. And I think that is the more interesting part of the of the story is that we just plain don't want to. You know, for people that want to have children and that want to have families, more power to you. But being at the stage where we are in life, where we, you know we just found each other. You know, like and. You know, we, if we want dependence, we got dogs, oh you know? We just want to enjoy our time and the rest of our lives together, just us. And you know, a lot of people say, well, you say that now, but you could change your mind. Of course I could change my mind, yes. and that rocket could hit the earth, you know? <laughs> like, these things are possible, but as of right now, we've just decided that we don't want to have children. Oh my and the funny thing is, is that this has been a relatively recent phenomenon for me. Because, I'm just gonna say. because growing up, I used to want literally, legitimately nine children. Like from the age of 21. Exactly. I wanted to. It, <laughs> look, you make that face, but I would be the one that would have to birth nine children, you know? But I yes. wanted that for so long. And you know, and you know, as women, every year older we get, like every year past 25, I was like, well, I got to lop off a kid. You know, like, well, I'm, I'm, that was your I'm, I'm 26 now. I could probably only have, you know, seven kids. Oh, I'm 27. Oh, it's down to six kids. Oh, I hit 30. Okay, just give me two. Yes, you know, yes, like, I kept, I, kept try, I kept dropping kids away <laughs> the older that I got. But I really think what was really happening was that I was just settling into my routine mm -hmm. and my lifestyle, you know? No, I understand that. I think that at a certain age in your life, you are ready and open for things to change in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And then in, after a certain time, you're just not open for that change anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I was young and establishing myself and coming up, you know, like having a kid would have just been another thing to like, you know, Another merit badge. Well, yeah, exactly. Like another event in my life. But now that I've accomplished and accumulated and, and done everything for so long, just the way, you know, myself yes. and been... You, yourself, and you. Yeah, and, and I've, I've gotten the chance to control and set everything the exact way I like mm -hmm. it. I'm just honestly not interested in my life changing in that large of a way. I mean, the only way I was open for my life changing was to meet a husband. And I got me one Jesus okay but kids are just just too much I'm just not interested in it that's pretty much my thought on where I am at having children at this stage of my life but Richard what are what are your thoughts what's your particular journey with you know the decision whether or not to have children Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> no um from my side of the street mm -hmm. it was basically I grew up three or four children mm -hmm. or one of four children. Um, you grew up the third of four yes, children. that's what I meant to say. I was yeah. the third in four children. I got you. where three came from. Mm -hmm. But you get old. You know? I was going to say, I think life gets in the way yeah. and the years go by and well, your plans change. Yeah, like when like, in your high school you think, you know, I'm going to settle down the week white picket fence, you'll retire. Or, you know, you're, you're New York in a condo and you're living the high life either way. Fancy. Yeah, either way, you're still with family in your minds is where you think growing up. And um, in college here, and for me, it was just because I didn't find any. It wasn't that I didn't want kids. Mm -hmm. It was just that nobody was like, until you. Was I know. Well, no, and I totally agree. If I would have met someone and got married in my 20s, I am certain oh, yes. that I would have oh, had yeah. children. I agree. You know? I agree. But being that I'm almost 35, and I'm, and I'm not saying that it has anything to do with age. No, like, actually. you know, if you're well, unmarried and 35 right? right now, like, it is not too late. And I used to think that. I used to be one of those, like, I'm 32. Uh, everything is gone. I'm not going to oh, be able God. to have children. I'm going to have a geriatric oh, pregnancy. Don't get me started. I know, but, like, the older I get, I'm just like, oh, I can definitely have a baby right now and it be, like, legitimate and have an awesome life but like it's not that i want a baby and, and think that i'm too old to have one mm -hmm. i just simply don't want children that's it but the good thing is i'm so glad to have met someone with richard and his family because in my family 
We are legitimately the youngest people in my family. No one in my generation has children. Oh, so, wow. yeah, so none of my cousins, my sister, nobody has children. And so, A, my mom is like super sad. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and dad both are like, are you sure you don't want to have a kid? You know, but then B, you know, it's just, there are no little kids in our family. Like when we have Christmas, we all have Christmas at 3 p.m. because there's no wide-eyed oh, wow. 6 a.m. Wow. Joy of Christmas, like small. Yeah, chat. there's there's no toys. Like all we do is buy each other gift cards. You know, Clothes like or something. yeah. There's no evidence of children on my side of the family, which is the complete opposite on his side of the family. Richard is the only one of his siblings that doesn't have children, <laughs> and so he has. Well, like, I'm the only one who doesn't have. Everybody else has multiple. Yeah, multiple yeah, children. It's, yeah, it's, and so what do you have? Like nine nieces and nephews, things like that. Six, all I'm nine, telling you yeah, they're, 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 they're is they're when they're I just, went over to his family house for Christmas it was like home alone like they were like the McAllisters there were kids everywhere presents whose present is this what is this children running I and mean, it was amazing yes. we, so we left the child in the house while we, went <laughs> while we went to another city exactly so it's still really great to be able to be around children and have the presence of children in my life and it's really great to just hand them right back to their parents <laughs> while we go home to our quiet house. If you join us every morning at 9.30 a.m. on our other channel, Watch Autumn, if you join our lives, you've known this for a while because we get the question all the time, uh, but I am glad to be able to answer it for the larger audience. Hope we didn't disappoint any people, but then at the same time, tis our life, and so, you know. And I have multiple nieces and nephews. Nephews, so yeah, we and are, yeah, we're, we're set in the children department. They don't have to be your own in order for you to love them like my, your own. Yes, exactly, and my brother, he fosters children. Mm -hmm. They've adopted, and yes. I'm totally down for that. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, exactly, and you know, maybe if we get to a point where we don't want to have children, exactly. we can always adopt. And you guys, I've also discovered or realized I do not want to give birth. If I were to have a child, it would be a surrogacy or something. Birth <laughs> is traumatic, okay, on the human body. I and I <laughs> do not want to experience that for myself. I don't want to be pregnant. I do not want that experience for myself at all. So <laughs> that's just the truth. I can't follow that. <laughs> I don't want to fall down the steps either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to push something the size out of a watermelon out of a whole lot of women either. Exactly. That's what women are awesome. Exactly. You thank you, thank you. Thank you so you much. You women, you mothers across the world. Exactly. Okay, but before we get out of here, a new segment that we've added is dessert. Oh my god. So let's go ahead and have dessert. So guys, you actually saw me make these on my meal prep a couple weeks ago. These are the low carb Maven fat bombs. See this. Oh wow, that's amazing. Look at that. That is chocolate buttercream, a peanut butter cream mixture, and more chocolate buttercream. What? That's bananas crazy. So I've already had these for my meal prep last week, but Richard has yet to have Ooh, them. So I'm excited for you to try them. Okay, let's right, let's go ahead. Toasted. Yeah. Toasted. Mmm. No, what is it? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Is that peanut butter? Yes, it is chocolate and peanut butter, and it is like, amazing because it's so fluffy. It like it explodes in your mouth. Yes, oh, it's so good. Yeah. And it comes with finger residue. Exactly. They are very melty, so you keep them in the refrigerator, and then, yeah, they're, they're kind of, as you hold on to them, they melt, but that just leaves you with chocolate finger popsicles. Like, it's say, the like, gift that keeps on giving. Finger residue is nice. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Finger popsicle. Yeah. Now that's candy. <laughs> <laughs> that's literal candy. Okay, but on that note, we're going to wrap up Keto Date Night. We're going to get back to this awesome food. We're going to get back to this awesome dessert. But as we end every date night, let's oh. end it with a toast. I'll let you go first. Oh. Well, here's a toast to the love of my life. Who is that? This old girl. Oh, 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 oh. She is regular. Mm, you're very regular. <laughs> Oh, my sweet. Um, and here's to us and another date night in the book. Mm -hmm. And just me being with you and I'm able to share all these memories together. Oh. And I love you. And I love you. Guys. I'll say to date night, to, to trying something new and it That's totally true. paying That's off. 100%. To our 
our decision to just live our lives and enjoy each other's company and to approaching every day as a new adventure. I know. I don't even know who I got super anymore. poetic on that oh one. Gosh. I love you so much, I love baby. You, baby. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so crisp. Know, it is right? my favorite oh my thing gosh. ever. That is Sprite Zero, and I yeah. love it. Are there any topics in particular that you would like us to discuss for our next date night? Oh my <laughs> Let us know in the comment down below. Oh my the Richard Allspot. And we'll catch you next month. Bye. Bye.